what is going on everybody welcome back to motorfest so in today's video i do want to go over the score breaker set for the street tier one and the tier two classes i do know a lot of players are most likely going to be grinding these out and wondering if some of these part sets are going to be worth going after which by the way i am planning on going over basically every set in this game going over which ones are going to be good on like different classes as well and of course going after many different affixed stats and testing them out so definitely stay tuned for those videos in the near future. Now for this though, in this Street Tier 1 class, I am currently running the lovely Ducati Hyper Motard. I'm also currently running a full Scorebreaker set with Skilled on every single part. Do keep in mind though, it's not going to be maxed out because it's 69.4%, which of course out of 70 isn't really going to make a difference. I also do want to mention by the way, if you guys are doing the summits and stuff like that, not only can you have a Scorebreaker set active, you can also add some of your legend points to the skilled stat in the gameplay tab as well, which by the way is going to say it does give you a 10% increase. Do keep in mind though, I have done some testing on this and I do not think it's going to be fully accurate. If you do want to check out that video, I will leave a tag on the screen for that one, but I do want to check out the Street Tier 1 guys because I would say this class in particular isn't going to be used that often. I basically never see anyone really running these in any summit. So the biggest question is, should you grind after a scorebreaker set for the Street Tier 1 category? Now spawning outside with the Ducati Hyper Motard, there's a few things I did want to go over for the slaloms regarding the Street Tier 1 category. So I do know a lot of players are most likely not going to run this class because one big issue. That is most likely going to come down to the speed of these vehicles. Do keep in mind by the way, Street Tier 1 vehicles are obviously not going to be nearly as fast as many of the other classes. In fact, it's actually going to be one of the slowest classes in the game, basically right behind something like a Demolition Derby vehicle. But even with these being a lot slower, even if you did want to do like a summit with them, they are still going to be plenty fast to get a pretty decent score. Now I was using the Hyper Motard before, but now I'm going to be running the lovely RS3 Sport back in a different slalom. Now I would say one of the biggest questions ever is probably going to come down to the fact of, well, should I actually grind for a scorebreaker set and is it going to be worth it? So I have to admit, by the way, if you are looking to get like a maxed out score in a summit, now let's say maybe 153 to like maybe 155,000 points, this class is definitely unfortunately not going to be the best one you can run. And the reason for that is going to come down to like the overall speed of these cars being slower. And of course with it being one of the slower classes in this game, it is going to be a lot harder to really keep up with something like a hypercar. So if you are looking to get like the highest score possible, I would say the tier 1 is definitely not going to be the best class you can run. But you can easily still get 150k in basically every summit running a tier 1 vehicle. Now of course moving over to the tier 2 class, I'm also running a full scorebreaker set on this one as well. Of course going up to 70% on this instead of the 694 but as I did mention though, having that extra 0.6% really isn't going to matter. Now I would say a lot of players are most likely going to go after a scorebreaker set for the tier 2 class over the tier 1. And that's most likely going to come down to like the power and the handling of these vehicles versus those. Now I have to admit something, I really do feel like both of them are going to be fairly similar. Do keep in mind by the way, with most vehicles you can only go so fast in these slaloms anyway. So I would say if you are trying to compete in different summits and stuff like that, it probably wouldn't be insanely hard to run something like a tier 1. Or of course if you did want to use like a tier 2 vehicle you could. I have to admit though recently I normally do run some really weird classes in these slaloms. Even including something like a tier 1 vehicle or even something like a random like demolition derby class. But if you are wondering by the way, should I go after a scorebreaker set for the tier 2 and the tier 1 classes? is most likely going to come down to the fact that yes you can use them in basically any summit but i do have a weird feeling that we might end up seeing something to where maybe those skills might end up being locked to a certain class like imagine if you could only use a tier 1 or a tier 2 vehicle for that week so i would recommend going after this set not only for the tier 1 class but also street tier 2. Overall though, running something like a Street Tier 2 and a Tier 1 vehicle are definitely going to be pretty viable options for the summits. If you are looking to break records or at least get like a max score of 155k, they are most likely not going to be the best options for them, but getting around 151 to 152,000 points with them is still going to be a very great class to actually grind out and go after a scorebreaker set with. 